A boat ride turned into a trip to the hospital for a Plant City woman after a dangerous encounter with a sturgeon. Allison Morrow is live in the newsroom for us with this story. Good evening, Allison. Good evening, Brennan. This woman faces major surgery this week, but she is not alone. Wildlife experts tell me this is the time of year sturgeon are spawning, and though no one really knows why, it's also the time of year they are jumping into boats. After a weekend on their boat, the Millers are back at work at their Plant City business, but part of their family isn't here. And they keep thinking, well, what could you have done differently? Marsha and John Miller had taken the day off work last Friday with their 31 year old daughter, April, for a relaxing boat ride down the Suwannee River. We were just going to swim and have a wonderful time. We had a picnic. So we were ready for a, a great day. But out of nowhere, wham, bam, uninvited company jumped on board. I saw a flash. But I didn't see the fish. I thought there was water going everywhere, but it was really pieces of glass. A massive sturgeon smashed April's head against their boat windshield, leaving April unconscious. She started convulsing a little bit, and I, I thought, well, sh is she dying? Stuck out in the middle of nowhere, the Millers turned their boat around and sped as quickly as they could to the nearest shop, where they faced another excruciating wait as it took 40 minutes to get to the nearest hospital. <sighs> Anyway, we got, got her safety. It's just one of 11 sturgeon encounters in the Suwannee since April. Six of them resulted in injury. April faces extensive reconstructive surgery on her face. So knowing what they do now, the Millers plan on boating again someday, but also plan to bring something besides sunscreen. I told April I'd take a baseball bat and next time I'd bat him out. <laughs> I don't know. Sturgeon can get as big as eight feet and weigh as much as 200 pounds, and there's really no way to protect yourself from them other than to have a boat that's got an enclosed 